justice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The famous I Have a Dream speech by the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. born January the 15th, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He died by assassination April the 4th 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee at the age of 39. His assassination was from a gunshot wound. He was married in 1953 to now the late Coretta Scott King. And to their union, four children was born. Yolanda, Martin, Dexter, and Bernice. His parents, Martin Luther King Sr., 
Alberta Williams King. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and he was a activist for civil rights and peaceful movement. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. He was known for peaceful protests and not violence. His assassination took place in Memphis, Tennessee at the Lorraine Martin Motel where he stood on a balcony and his life was taken. He was killed by James Earl Ray, 6.01 p.m. on a Thursday, April the 4th, 1968. I have actually visited the Civil Rights Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. If you have not had the privilege or the honor to visit the Civil Rights Museum and to see, they still have his car where it was parked in front of the hotel and you can look across the street where James Earl Ray was in a across the street and through a window shot the beloved peaceful activist for civil rights so that all people could be treat, treated fairly. And he was killed as he stood on the second floor balcony in Memphis, Tennessee. Some famous quotes by the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. are as follows. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. The time is always the right time to do right. A riot is the language of the unheard. In the end, we will remember not the worst of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Our lives begin to the end. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in the moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at the times of challenge and controversy. On November the 2nd, 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill making Martin Luther King Jr. Day a federal holiday, effective January the 20th, 1986, which was three years later. The late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife, who is now also deceased, Coretta Scott King, was an advocate to make sure that this holiday took place, became a national federal holiday to honor the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was a civil rights leader, and he did it in love, and he did it with peaceful protests, peaceful advocacy, activism for everyone. So that, as he stated in his I Have a Dream speech, that one day my children will be judged by the character, their character, and not the content of their skin.
I am LaMarcia Lewis. Today is Monday, January the 18th, 2021. We remember Martin. This is a tribute to pay honor to the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who was an advocate of love and peace and just wanted everyone to live in love, do what's right, and treat your fellow man with kindness and love to exemplify what Jesus said. For God is love and he has no respect of person. He changed the course of history. He was a man for our times. Like Moses in his day, for God used him mightily to pave a better way, a way of peaceful existence between blacks and whites and a greater degree of freedom with respect for human rights, though it cost his life. His death was not in vain, for he helped change the course of history. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was his name. I am LaMarcia Lewis, and let's talk. Thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for paving the way for all of us African Americans. God bless.